East. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo joins me now on that mounting tension at home and whether it is connected in any way to what's going on abroad. Secretary, thank you so much for coming in. As a former CIA chief, by the way, I, I, you, you still t stay in touch, I'm sure, with a lot of these, uh, the, the intel that's coming out of the Middle East. Do you see any connection between what is happening here and perhaps the influence uh, from some bad players abroad? Dave, good morning. It's great to be with you. Thank you. I mean, I think they're connected in one sense. That, that's what these young people on our campuses assert they are protesting against. But it's, it's enormous amount of ignorance, right? They talk about Israeli occupation of Gaza. There hasn't been an Israeli in Gaza since 2006 until October 8th when they were attacked, when Israel was attacked and a thousand of its people were slaughtered barbarically by the very Palestinians that these progressive left-wing activists on these college campuses are protesting on behalf of. Uh, as this continues, we shouldn't forget that it's been out of the news because these campuses have been so active. But the, the Israelis are going to finish the mission. They're, they're going to keep their nation secure, and properly so. We should support them. My biggest disappointment, frankly, from the Biden administration here hasn't been the weakness on the campuses. They've, the Democrat Party's always been in the pocket of big unions, big, big leftists on campuses since the 60s. Uh, but the fact that they've not supported Israel's fundamental yes. right to keep its people safe. And as this continues, as they continue to execute their mission, there will undoubtedly be more uh, inadvertent civilian deaths. I suspect that this is going to get more difficult before it gets easier. I do ask about the connection because clearly there's some organization going on here from a central source. All the tents, I don't think it's coincidental. They're all the same all over the country. The, you see the same kind of signs being written. I'm just wondering who, <laughs> what you think is behind all that. There, there is no doubt that this is highly coordinated at senior levels all across the United States of America. I'm sure it's people who were former government officials. I'm confident it's nonprofit organization. David, you'll remember the summer when BLM all of a sudden sprouted up in oh, yeah. a dozen cities all across America, just randomly operating from the same script in the same playbook. Now, this is highly coordinated. Uh, the source of the money for this is uh, a bit uh, obscured. But make no mistake about it, we've had anti-Semitic left-wing organizations in the United States for a long time, and they are using what's taking place in the Middle East now because America lost deterrence in a way that gives them the capacity to raise money for themselves and stir trouble for America. Well, to get back to the, the Middle East, uh, Israel, of course, is a very astute observer of what's happening in the United States. They, they must have seen uh, that the protests have reached such extremes that, that America is getting fed up with it. Uh, perhaps that would make them feel, give them more leeway in terms of acting on their own behalf and, and going into Rafah and really taking out Hamas. Do you think that might happen after, after the end of Passover next week? Mm -hmm. well, well, David, as for the political situation, um, I suppose this might unite more Americans on the side of Israel. I, I, find that, I find that stunning how any American could not be on the side of a nation that's simply trying to protect its rightful right. homeland, the homeland of the Jewish people. But it, it could be the case there'll be more folks who say, gosh, that's just not right. We'll, we'll stand with Israel. I hope that's true. I, I am confident that Israel is going to complete the task. And we should remember, David, that that will be the destruction of Hamas's core infrastructure and its capacity to do what it did on October 7th. But don't, don't take our eye off the ball. The challenge from Iran, the challenge from Tehran is a long war. It was in the shadows. It's now out of the shadows. And Israel has a responsibility. The United States has a deep, vested interest for the United States of America and our own security and our own people to make sure that Israel has the ability and our Gulf Arab states, friends and allies are supported so that Iran does not continue to be the world's largest state sponsor of terror. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. Thank you, sir. Have a great weekend. You too. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.